As Randy Spieth talked to some of our viewers who say they felt those tremors. That's right. The U.S. Geological Survey says this is the second largest earthquake in Virginia's history, and it didn't take long for people here to notice. That it was definitely probably an earthquake or an aftershock from earlier. People from the East Coast all the way to Northeast Indiana felt the aftermath of today's 5.8 magnitude earthquake in Mineral, Virginia. Some felt it at home. Me and my dad, I kind of went, that's weird. And it felt like the couch was shaking side to side. Others felt it at work. The blinds were moving a little bit. I could hear them rattling against the window a little bit. And the chair was starting to move. So how could people feel the tremors even though Virginia and Indiana are on separate fault lines? I asked that exact question to IPFW to geoscience you. professor Deepak Chowdhury. The rocks are harder, denser, you know, uh, so it can channel or propagate the, you know, waves can travel easily without uh, being dissipated, without decreasing in, you know, energy. Cities out west have building codes to help buildings withstand earthquakes. But after today's quake shook the White House and many buildings in New York, Professor Chowdhury believes it's time to put codes in place in the east. Here we don't have those earthquake resistant codes. So it's important we have them. Because, you know, you have seen Washington, D.C., there are some minor damage. So if there's a large earthquake, let's of magnitude 8, there will be large amount of destructions, damage. The Indiana Geological Survey and the state's Department of Homeland Security are both asking Hoosiers to report any tremors they felt today. You can find the link by going to our website, wayne.com. The data used from the states outside of Virginia can determine the intensity of the quake and the areas affected by it. Okay, thank you, Randy.